Maybe you're sitting in this church uh, not so, so much feeling that Christmas joy right now. Maybe you're not feeling this, the Christmas spirit. That's okay. Maybe you're feeling down because just something going on in your family life, something going on at work. Maybe you've lost a loved one this year, making Christmas really hard for you. Maybe you're sitting here tonight feeling angry. Maybe you're feeling stuck, stuck in sin, stuck in addiction, stuck in circumstances in your life that you don't have any control over. Maybe you just feel lonely. If any of that describes you, you're actually in a good place to meet Jesus this Christmas. Because with Christmas, Jesus enters into where we are. He meets us where we are. That's why God became a baby, to meet us in our humanity. He meets us where we are so that we don't have to stay where we are. He comes to lift us out of that. We love Christmas. We think about how beautiful those Christmas cards are of you know, baby Jesus in the manger surrounded by the Holy Family and um, the shepherds and the star and all that. But Jesus was on a mission. He wasn't just coming to be cute and win over our heart. Yes, that's part of it. But he was on a mission to conquer sin and death. When we see someone out of place, we know they're up to something. God is the God of the universe. He could be doing whatever he wants. He chooses to be a baby in Bethlehem, surrounded by stinky animals in a stable. He must want to be there. He must be up to something. Christianity would summarize it like this. God became man so that he could die on a cross to save us from sin and death. We have this problem of sin, which is that disobedience that causes a break in a relationship with God. It causes a break in a relationship with others, and it causes a brokenness within ourselves. We also have a problem of death, meaning that uh, we, we don't get to avoid death, and we can't give ourselves eternal life. So Jesus becomes a man so he can die on the cross so that he can rescue us from sin and death. He's coming to offer us something gigantic, peace and joy and eternal life and abundant life and happiness forever. That's what the Lord is coming to do when we see him being born in a stable. So there's something already special about the first cry of a child, but Jesus wasn't just any child. This is the voice of God speaking who it seems to be silent for so long. This is the voice of the one who will someday teach in the temple. He will someday teach on the mountain. He'll teach from Peter's boat. Someday he's gonna heal the lepers. He's gonna give sight to the blind. He's going to raise the dead. He himself is going to suffer and die. He's gonna rise from the dead for us. He forgives our sins. He offers us new life. He opens up heaven for us so that we can be in God's kingdom where there is no suffering, no pain, no death. Jesus' cry is the cry that changes the world. Jesus' cry is the reminder that God is with us. His kingdom is now breaking into the kingdom of this world that is broken, the kingdom of this world that keeps us enslaved to sin and death. That's why Jesus comes. He's going to carry all of our sins with him to the cross so that they don't have to reign over us anymore. He's gonna take our death with him to the cross so that when he rises from the dead, we also get to rise from the dead. So the death isn't the end of the story for us. Christmas is here to overcome the darkness of our own lives. But if we want to experience that joy and that peace and that hope, then we have to make some response to the Lord. Like he's offering us something huge, but we have to decide that we're going to say yes. We have to decide that we're going to say yes to a relationship with him. We have to decide that we're going to uh, say yes to following in the way of life that he's calling us to live. Christmas matters because God has entered into our story to rescue us. But we have to decide to give him what we need to be rescued from. Our sin, our brokenness, our sadness, our death, our pain, our suffering, everything. Lay it before the Lord, and He will rescue us. If we do that this Christmas, then we will be able to say, like every saint who's gone before us, I was one way, and now I'm completely different. And the thing that happened in the middle was Jesus.